Ukraine. My wife is a lot more sensitive than I am. And I would I would rather she wasn't. I'd rather she, you know, be more like me. But then again, if she were more like me, what would she be? She'd be me. And I'm not I'm not trying to marry me. I don't I don't want to be married to me. I want to be married to to her. So be real dudish. Uh, yeah. I don't so that's just that's that's just how it is. So um I've got to and I gotta force myself. I gotta make sure that I understand what's important to her. Again, she'll tell me stuff, uh, and she'll say, you know, like a lot of times uh, I may not listen. Or because here, here's a problem that we have. <laughs> she can talk to me and I'm trying to do five things at one time. And so when she's talking and I'm doing four other things, what's the first thing that um, gets missed? What she's saying. Right. What you're saying. And it bothers her. And I'm like, I just I, I'm pretty sure I just heard what you said. And I don't tell her that way. I say, I heard what you said. Of course, I heard what you said. And she's no, you didn't. I said, well, say it again. Let's make sure. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah. But I have to be sensitive enough that this is these are the things that she wants, right? She wants to, because listen, a lot of times, what does a woman want to do? She wants to talk, right? No guy ever perked up and got happy when his when his wife or girlfriend said, uh, "We need to talk. Can we talk?" No, no, no. no. <laughs> that sounds like the principal office right there. Yeah. <laughs> when you start off, you, when you start off, if you start off a company, me and my wife, we talked about that uh, on our channel. Uh, me and Nikki. What's up, Dre? How you doing, bro? Yeah. Would you, would you get a better um, camera? Bad, man. You got a better camera now? <laughs> yeah, man. But we talked about that. Let me use if you if you ever want to talk to your husband, don't start off the conversation with, "Honey, I, we need to talk." C find some other creative way. All right, because yep. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. He's going to automatically try to find a way to push off the conversation mm -hmm. or already going to be on defense like you the principal because you said, honey, we need to talk. Yeah. Try to be creative. I don't know what y'all do. You know, y'all have <laughs> girls talk. Y'all are very creative. Find some other way to be, just be casual with it. Be smooth. Yeah. You know, da, da, da. just start talking. How about that? Just start talking and just rather than saying, yeah. hey, I'm bringing you on trial. We gotta talk, cause when, but brother, I, I see y'all shaking your head because you are, your defense mechanisms are already on high alert at that point. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. go ahead, Dre. <laughs> no, no, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. And if yeah, they get any wisdom from from that, that's it. You know, you want to have a conversation with your your men. Yeah, try not to to go in with that. Hey, uh, I think we need to talk, or uh, you know. I got something to get off my chest. So no, no, no. Let's let's not do that because then <laughs> let's not do that. You know? Yeah, because you, 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 you said it's time. Hey, Dave, I was thinking. There you go. That's it. Because what do we do? We just we don't we don't give an introduction to what we're going to say. We just you know start talking, right? No, you <laughs> say it. <laughs> so maybe we ought to try their approach to them, and they ought to try our approach to us. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's what it ought to be. Right? It don't work. It don't work. I try. I try. Uh, it doesn't work. Yeah, Your work. reaction is the same as ours. Don't do. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm like, see, that don't work. Yeah. Do it. I, I, I told you, yeah. don't work. But see, and, that's and, and your men may not say this. Uh, I'm sorry, and your men may not say this, but this is what they're thinking. What now? Mm. What now? Right now. So yes. it, you know, uh, talk. You know, we're thinking, what now? Yeah. We're, my, yep. we're not going to say it because we love. It. We're trying to honor. <laughs> you. But that's going in our minds. I'm telling you now. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I was. Um, we went to this uh, this this uh, uh, this conference, and I'll never forget. It. it was so funny, and everybody in the arena started laughing. And the story was basically a man with his with his wife. Or no, I'm sorry, with his girlfriend. They were coming back from the movies or something like that, and she started asking questions because sometimes, let's just be honest, a woman can have an argument uh, with you. And you hadn't said a word. She started it and finished it. See, I see the guy shaking her head. Um, and you're like, whoa, what just happened here? Because oftentimes women read into things and we are we are right here. We're on the surface with it. And she didn't she didn't gone deep and went around here and oh by and like, hey second, you connected some stuff. I'm not even that quick to connect what you connecting. You know, you <laughs> Ladies, sometimes he just ain't that fast. He ain't just ain't that quick with it, and you you give him too much credit. And so, I'm like, wait a second. And so the guy, she here's how here's how the story went. 
Y'all see if y'all if, if you guys and you gals can can relate to this. <laughs> They're in the truck and she's just looking at him. She's thinking to herself, this is a really good guy. Um, but I wonder if I'm if I'm moving too fast and maybe we ought to, you know, I don't want to push him too much because he's a good guy. And, you know, maybe I am pushing him too fast. Now, he hadn't said anything. He's just driving. He's looking at his watch, ready to get home because the game's going to come on uh, in about an hour. And he's thinking, oh, look, my oil needs changing. It's been over 3000 miles. Let me go ahead and change his oil. She's thinking, though, I hope I haven't pushed him too far. She's having this conversation with herself. And I hope he doesn't want to, to, maybe we ought to see other people. Maybe that's what he wants. Maybe maybe he didn't want to be too, maybe I'm, I'm putting too much pressure on him. Maybe he wants, he may want to change some things. And so he asks her, she asks him, honey, what do you think about change? And he's thinking, change is good. Yeah, nothing wrong with change. What do you ask? And she goes back to talking to herself and she's, she's, oh my God, I must have, I've pushed him too fast. Now he wants out of this relationship. I can't believe what I, oh, what have I done? Or maybe someone else. Is he seeing someone else? What is it? And so she's wondering, why is he trying to, he, he's speeding. Why is he trying to get home so fast? He's over thinking to himself, 45 more minutes for the game. So I need to hear him get home right now over here. She's thinking about all the possibilities, the ramifications of what he hadn't said. She's, she, she's, she's making inferences yeah. as to what he's yeah. saying or not saying. And by the time the night's over with, she's decided that they need to go ahead and break up. And he's thinking, well, wait, what just happened here? I thought we we're having a good time. And so, cause sometimes that happens. And so it's good for a woman to let herself and to let the guy know what he's thinking. But you need to understand, ladies, that sometimes we're just not as deep. Matter of fact, not even sometimes, most times, we're just not as deep <laughs> as you guys are. We're not, what we tell you oftentimes really is, in many cases, really what we're thinking. What you thinking about? Yeah. Nothing. And you know what he's thinking about? Nothing. <laughs> nothing. A guy can sit there and think about absolutely nothing. It just, you know how I know? We do it all the time. <laughs> we do it all yeah. the time. Yeah. Take what we say at face value. And so, you know, one of the things that you have to understand, and this may help some women in the chat, understand that men compartmentalize a lot easier than women. Women don't compartmentalize. They will find a way to make sure that the bowl of spaghetti reaches the uh, glass that is 15 feet away, even though the glass of water has nothing to do with the bowl of spaghetti 15 feet away. But y'all yeah. will find a way to, to, to make the two connect and then men are like, wait a minute, this is over here and this is over here. We can compartmentalize and most of the time, like, you know, we talk about work. We talk about certain areas of our life. We can say, no, this is this. Mm -hmm. This is this. This has nothing to do with this. Why are you connecting these? And so we don't think like that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, so anyway, that may help somebody out there understand a lot of times what we tell you. Take it at face value because that's literally, <laughs> if we're a man of our salt, that's what we mean. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. Who coming for you, Tyler? You talking about us? You talking about somebody in the chat, y'all? If y'all coming for Tyler in the chat, you better leave, leave Tyler alone. Um, listen. <laughs> so most, I I don't know this for for a fact, but most cases, most often, the arguments are just misunderstanding from where the other person's coming from. Yeah. Um, yeah. And even though we're saying this, I can promise you, I won't forget that she's a woman when the, the next time we have an argument thinking that she doesn't think like I do and she's going to um, not remember that I'm a man and we just think differently. We just, I don't, listen, uh, we just talked about it four days ago. I won't talk about it again, right? <laughs> it's like, well, we didn't, we didn't come to a conclusion. What conclusion we didn't come to? Well, we got to cover it from when it happened uh, to now to the future. <laughs> no, that's, listen, you, you, that's yeah. too much for me. No, and I'm, and plus again, and I got several teams that I root for, and one I'm about to come on, and you, <laughs> so <laughs> y'all, you single ladies, you single men, understand this. This is how it works, and it's going to be that way forever, unless God yeah. decides to change yeah. how He has wired us. It's going to be that way forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Uh, um, I think that's how that's how we approach life in general. We compartmentalize things. Yeah, so, you know, yeah. a lot of a lot of us we go to work, have a, a, a drama filled day at work, and come home, and our wives will ask us how was work, and because we don't want to mix the two, it was good. Yeah, and you know, yeah. it was work, 
and I, leave it alone. Like, how we said earlier, how how yes. women, um, what they say, the average woman speaks about, was it 20 something thousand words per day? And the men about 10, 11, 12,000 a day? Mm-hmm. Now we have these channels, the three yeah. of us. Um, and so we might, <laughs> we might be giving our wives a run for their money, but we don't like talking as much. We, we just don't. Mm-hmm. Um, they do. And so when they want to talk, they're asking to us to do the thing that we don't like to do. Even, even mm-hmm. if she wants to sit on, have you, you guys like sports? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know, I do. Well, no, you, no, no, seriously, you, you, you like sports, Jermaine? I mean, I know you like, you said you like the Cowboys and Sooners, so, I'm, but do you like sports other than? Yeah, I like basketball too. Um, I just, I just, you, missed it. you, you missed know it. what? You are you being funny? <laughs> you being funny? Listen, I am from Oklahoma. I am from Oklahoma. I am a Oklahoma Sooner fan, and I like the Lakers as well. So we ain't gonna talk you, so, about my pathetic, my my pathetic Cowboys. We're not gonna talk about them. So, on this broadcast. so basically, you don't like sports, but the rest of us who like sports. <laughs> <laughs> When a guy want now, just a guy. If a guy wants to talk when the game is on, is that is that's no bueno, right? It, shut up, right? Mm. And if she wants to talk, no, I have this rule. My 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 daughters, my wife, understand this. When the game is on, we're not in the same room together. Why? Because you don't want to talk. And mm. this is the this is the no talk time, right? And <laughs> then, but guess what's waiting for me? As soon as I get through watching the game, talk talk. The conversation. Oh, like, yep. You didn't understand, don't let, honey. Don't, uh, don't let your team lose. <laughs> oh man! Oh, you uh, you better not talk to me. <laughs> now, here's what happens though in my household: yeah. if if the Colts lose, um, I don't want to talk. But I perk up when the Cowboys lose. It's just it, it, it's the uh, uh, see, God has there, a way of blessing. There we go. No, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. Right there. That's what makes us America's lot. team. That's what makes us America's team. People hate when we win, and they love it when we lose, and they have no dog in the fight. That's what makes us America's team. You perk up when it comes to Cowboys. See, that's what I'm talking about. The Cowboys are America's team because America has become mediocre. Amen. You know, I used to, I used to, th- I used to thank God had His hand on you. Nine times out of ten.